Alright, go ahead and say your name. Now you started playing disc golf. How? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I started playing disc golf because my friend and his dad and brother played it. Uh, and they took me out one day. I threw a couple times with him and kept playing it, kept score, and then I fell in love with it. And he's kind of still plays it with me occasionally. But uh, I enjoy the sport so much I do it almost every day. And that was how long ago? Uh, I'd say about three years ago was when that happened. I started really playing seriously about a year ago. So last year you kind of started playing seriously. You probably tweaked your bag a little bit. Yeah, I tweaked my bag. Uh, the beginning of this season I actually throw exclusively Trilogy now, and I'm on Team Trilogy. I'm one of, one of two members in Omaha uh, on Team Trilogy, so I sacked my entire bag. Uh, at the end of last year I picked up uh, Fury and a Saint, and they kind of helped me get, just make that decision. The Fury and the Saint threw you over the edge. Yes. Okay. Anything else about Team Trilogy? Um... They're a great company. I mean, I like throwing dynamic more than anything. They're a Midwest company, and being that I am from Omaha, uh, that kind of means a lot to me personally. So. Midwest company. Well, we're glad we can help you get those discs. What uh, do you have in the bag? Um, so for putters, I use the Judge. Um, I use the Classic, and most of them are uh, like 174, 175. And I kind of just rotate them from beat-in uh, throwing any's to brand new ones for using for my putter. Uh, do you approach with your judge too? Uh, yeah, I do approach shots with my judge, and that's the ones that are a little bit more beat in. So the most beat in one would be the ones I'd use for Anheuser shots. Uh, this one would be kind of more of a straight shot, and then this would be my exclusive putter. And I buy new putters about every month and rotate them in and out. So. Do you throw the warden? I don't throw the warden. I like the bead on the judge a lot. Uh, it helps me have consistency. I've tried the warden. It's really just not the best for me. Let's go uh, mid-range. Okay. Uh, for mid-ranges, I have right now I've got uh, the overstable verdict which would be a fast disc um, I use it to kind of get down uh, the, the fairway if I need to and it's pretty consistent in the wind uh, so I use it for that uh, I have the pain for kind of a slower overstable disc it, we play in Nebraska so it's super windy so you got to have something that's kind of beefy and you can count on it no headwinds and this is a great disc for that uh, and then my go-to if it in it, almost any shot situation is the truth this is the fusion truth Probably my favorite disc in the bag. Uh, I like the Fusion Plastic a lot, and this is a max weight, so it can't handle winds, but it, if you put it on a Anheuser, it still comes State back. Comes back. Yep. The truth is the truth in your bag. It is. This is a great disc. Uh, Emax Signature Disc, too. Verdict Painted Truth. How about some fairway drivers? Fairway drivers. I've got a lot of those. I don't have a big arm yet, so I can't really throw a lot of the, the bigger discs, so I have a lot of fairway drivers. Show us what you're throwing for distance. Uh, for distance, then? For distance, I'm going to go with the Trustpass, would be my maximum distance. Uh, if I have a bit of a tailwind, I will go with the bolt. Uh, I need a lot of room to work this, especially if it's like a, out of Aspen, there's a 625-foot hole. Uh, I use this on that because it, it needs more room to work, but if it has it, it can go real far, especially with the tailwind. Um, the sword is my straight, slight fade at the end. Uh, thrower that I use to kind of get down if I need to, and then the trespass is the one if I'm going for max distance, I throw that a lot. That's also in the fusion plastic, so I like that quite a bit. Alright, cool. Um, and go to, go to the fairways. And then, for my fairways, the Trident kind of is in between the two of the max distance, but it's, again, a super overstable if it's real windy. Specialty. And That's your specialty, specialty disc. disc. Yep. For sure. Um, for the overstable, I've got the St. Pro, which is, again, great for wind. It's uh, very similar to a T-Bird. Uh, the closest you can get for them, which is great. Uh, it's real consistent. It's going to go straight, and it's going to fade at the end. Uh, I have the Fury, which is kind of my jack of all trades disc. I can get this thing to do rollers. I can get it to turn over. My I can specialty throw disc. Flips to, with it. I mean, I throw this disc a lot. Let me see uh, that. Is this thing understable? It's it's understable, but it, it definitely works great um, as long as you're not throwing into a headwind. That's where the Saint Pro would definitely I like that. come in handy. Uh, it's big brother, per se, is the Saint, which is uh, kind of in between the two, uh, the Saint Pro and the Fury. It's, uh, you can get big-ass curves out of it. Uh, if I, do, I can also hide or flip it a little bit. It, can, it doesn't handle headwinds very well, but it's great for tailwinds. Um, and then my go-to fairway driver. So the Truth and uh, Escapes are getting the most workload? Yeah, the Escape would be my go-to fairway driver for distance. I actually can consistently get it further than my Trespass most of the time. Uh, it works well in all wind conditions, depending on what angle I put it on. Um, I typically just throw it flat, and it'll get a nice long S-curve out of it. Um, but I can also get a, a good hyzer out of it as well if I need to. Um, and then I have a, a lighter weight one, 169, then I have a 174 one. So. Thank you, man. Definitely my workhorse. Favorite shot to throw, least favorite shot to throw? Uh, favorite shot would be the approach shot with the truth. 
uh, a nice any sort of straight shot or a hyzer with the truth is probably my favorite. Uh, least favorite shot would be a flick shot. I'm pretty awful at them. Uh, I'm still kind of learning how to do it. So if it's a, uh, I had to play a Norfolk tournament. It was through the woods and everything with dog leg right, and uh, it's definitely a long day for me out there for sure. What's the best piece of disc golf advice you've gotten? Uh, best piece of advice: disc down. Um, don't go out and get a big, huge, fast disc right off the get go. Start with the mid range and learn how to perfect your form with that before going and throwing bigger discs. And show us that. Show us that one other disc down there. Um, and then I just got this custom disc uh, here down at the disc store. Uh, they did a custom logo for me for my company that I work for, Imperium. Uh, fantastic beer. They can do custom stamps. Uh, which also, I have my mini, which is also a Discord mini, which is the Kraken. Uh, which is fantastic. This has been in my bag for quite a while. So. Hold that, hold that Imperial Judge up closer to the camera. Yeah. Very cool. And you, they just printed that on the disc. They just put it right on the disc. I sent the image in for them, and then they uh, put it on the disc for me. So. Cool. Definitely works out great. So if you have any cool images, they can totally do that for you. Ryan, you want to say thanks to anybody else? Uh, thanks for Brooker for having me uh, do this in the bag. And it's our pleasure. The uh, Omaha Disc Golf Association for keeping uh, disc golf going in Omaha. Go get it. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep.